Oh, E3, day one in the books. Welcome back, Achievers, to your E3 day one reactions, kind of. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah Sitting, digitally, across from me, Alex. Hello. I want to get right into this, Alex. Let's of course, get into it, man. We normally come to you every single Friday. This is a special occasion. E3 has come to us, so we are going to be reacting to E3 day one. Now, me and Alex watched a good bit of it. Mm-hmm. I watched a little more. Main thing I'd say here was Ubisoft Forwards. I did yes. watch the Coke Media thing. No one should ever watch that ever again. Coke let's, no, Media. Exactly. No, let's, it never happened. It was, All right. it, it, let's just pretend it didn't let's happen. Let's make this whole episode about Coke Media. Okay, so Coke Media founded in eight, no, no. No one should have to watch that conference. It was Oof. an hour and a half of mm-hmm. basically people just talking to each other. And it was mm. rough. Don't watch it. Was it? Don't watch it. Interesting. Okay. Don't watch it. Second was, um, blanking on the name, Gorilla Collective. Yes. Bunch of indies. If you love indies, please go watch that. That was a fantastic time. I grabbed a couple games that I saw from there. I won't be going over that whole conference because it is dense and not all of it was for us. And I don't I don't feel like yeah. we have much to speak of. But I did watch most of that conference. I picked a couple games that I did fall in love with. And then, of course, we had the Ubisoft Forward, which was... Yes, we did. I would love to get I love to get to you what you thought of the four. But first, I'm going to very quickly go over these games that I have pulled from that Gorilla Collective and then we're going to get into the Ubisoft Forward. First, we got up Era uh, Origami 2. If you remember this Alex, this was a stealth game that yes. came out uh oof, when did this come out? Origami uh, the first one? Yeah, the first one. I don't remember. You could yeah, if you can check for me, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up a trailer uh, October 4th, 2016. Thank you. Jesus, that was quick. Um, so I got a better computer now, man. Don't you do. That's true. That's true. Um, hold on. Sorry, you can hear that, Cheevers. Okay, so I'm actually going to... I wasn't going to originally do this, but I feel like I show and telling is much better. Mm-hmm. Learn from that Cook Media show, don't tell. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to capture this. But essentially, it's very stealthy, and it kind of scratched that stealth itch that I think all of us kind of want from... Um, that's the wrong window. Uh, that we want from Splinter Cell, I think. Mm-hmm. I feel like, especially me, where I was like, okay, like I really want like a Splinter Cell game. Well, here you yeah. go. This is that game for you. So here it is, right here, playing on the screen. I'm gonna crop it like that. There. If I was a better producer, I would have already had this ready, but I'm not. So Alex is the producer. That's why I don't do any of this. <laughs> but very clearly, just stealthy game. Look at them, shadowy, yeah. killing people. It's Origami like, it is cool. definitely fun because I played the first one, mm-hmm. and I never got to finish it um, because it, I like I did that whole thing. I'm not gonna lie, you know the whole pre-owned like game stuff thing. You like, you oh, play it within the seven days, and you can renew. Oh, you, can, you did that. Yeah, I did the Respect. return thing. Respect. I just though. I lost t- I lost track of time, and I was like, oh crap, I need to return it before I can't get my money back. So yeah. I returned it, and I forgot about it. I'm not gonna lie, but what from what I played, I think I played maybe about five missions, uh-huh. and it was fun. I was enjoying it. Really. And this one looks this one looks interesting. It's just it depends if you're you know do you if you in the mood for like a cool stealthy like level based game. What really gets me, and again, I could play this game and like be like, God, this is boring. But like, look how cool the shadow move is. Like this mm-hmm. when he's doing the shadow moving, mm-hmm. it looks really yeah. fun. So that yeah. that really pulled me. I was like, I kind of want to play this. Try it, like, yeah, 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 for sure. But that is the one of the main ones I wanted to bring up for the achievers. If you're looking for like a really good stealth game, like that mm-hmm. is going to be perfect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next one I have written here. That is wizard with a gun. Did you see this Alex wizard with a gun? No, I didn't. I didn't see that. one. So it didn't show too much gameplay. It was mm-hmm. very much like, here's like some CG stuff. All right. Now here's a little bit of gameplay. Like it was kind of like that. Um, but I'm going to now show you what that looks like because this looks kind of sick. Um, mm-hmm. This is, I believe, Devolver Digital is showing this game off. Oh, wow. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Let's full screen that. <laughs> I'm <you> blind. <laughs> and there that doesn't go. help. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so the I'm going I'm, to... I'm not, not to make fun of the good people at Devolver Digital. Don't get too excited by this art style. <laughs> like, the art style does get through the game, but this is very much like, this if does not this... look like the game. If this was a show, it would have been awesome. Like, I would watch this. Mm. Like, if they make, like, a series, like, on Netflix or, you know, somewhere, mm-hmm. like, they do, like with this art style, this looks dope. I, like yeah, so originally I was like, eh, like, 
what's the game, but it's, it reminds me a lot of um, kind of like Hades, where you're like that top down, mm-hmm. very quick movement. Um, Bastion is what I really think about with this game. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep, yep. Um, but this was showed at Devolver Digital's conference. I didn't walk away with a bunch from Devolver Digital, if I'm being honest, but there was a couple of yeah. things like, like this, for instance, I was really excited for. So, of course, Devolver Digital is producing this, or sorry, is um, publishing this. And then Galvanic Games is developing it. Hmm. Interesting. I want to see. Let's get you. To, let's get you guys the gameplay. Yeah, this, what, that's, that's, that's really what we care I about, was right? watching. I was like, "Where's the gameplay? Where's it?" They're yeah, that, too much. it was one. Of, it, it was, was like one of those things. A whole where, episode. Yeah, it was one of those things. Just like I would. Let's just see the game. <laughs> like I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't think we need to see all this. Yep. But it it's very much like I feel like Bastion. Like Bastion is like I, I feel it. like this is. I don't know if you ever played Bastion, Alex, but mm-hmm. this is. Yeah, like, I played it on. I actually played it on the Vita. On the Vita, I did too. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. This looks wild, and it's a co op. So I kind of like mm, if you're oh, into it, we might play it together. I kind of yeah. look like everything kind of looks like paper too. It's kind. I kind of like. Paper. Yeah, it's like what is it like kind of like uh, what was, was again Paper Mario. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And then let's see. Uh, Batoria Lost in Shadows. The next one I want to show you guys. Batoria. Oh, I think I. This is, you I probably think, did. Lost in Sh- yeah, you probably I saw think, this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this, this is the one that was kind of like I'm like, hmm, interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it was one of those games where like as soon as I saw it, I was like, all right, I'm I'm probably gonna play this. <laughs> yeah, right. So let's pull this up. That's an ad. I'm not gonna show you guys that. We don't get paid for that. You sure? Yes. I'm sure we don't get paid. Yes. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'll show you achievers now. But this is, and sorry for audio listeners, by the way. <laughs> this is very much a visual right now. But essentially, Vitari uh, Lost in the Wilds is very much that similar, like, th- like kind of 3D action RPG ish mm-hmm. game. I love this aesthetic. That's that's what really got me at first. Like, I, I was like, whatever about the game, but then the aesthetic was really popping. I was like, ah, oh, and I looked over at my phone. I was like, this, this is cool, right? And she was like, oh, yeah, I love this. You're like, this is this is good, right? Yeah, yeah. It was one of those things where it's like, do I like this? Like it's one of those weird questions you ask yourself, like, I can't mm-hmm. tell if I do. And I and this screen came up actually, uh, that we're looking at right now, Chiefs. This screen came up and I was really like, I think I do, because the like, art style looks really nice. And it's mm-hmm. one of those things where like, will the gameplay actually feel this fluid? We'll only know when we get the game, but like that right there looked really fun. That like, looks cool. Like yeah. That, yeah, this, like all these explosions. The, yeah, it says nature system. It use looks like nature. you can move use the things. nature switch. Interesting. Yeah, the, the, yeah, you can like move things. Oh, I yeah, guess. That's, yeah, that's cool. It, it looks like um, someone brought up breath. Of the this Wild. reminds me a lot of Diablo mixed with that uh, Dark Siders game. The, the the Genesis. Yes. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Hundred percent with um. This looks a lot like Dark Souls. It's it's that classic like almost the classic isometric top down type of I, yeah. Kinda like yeah, very Diablo though. You are right mm-hmm. with that. I didn't even think of that. Oh God, yes. See the combos is really gets me. And now again, mm-hmm. will I feel that cool? We'll have to play the game because I we'll might suck at it. this. Because this, yeah. this it's one of those games where like this might be really hard and like I might be getting mm-hmm. my ass kicked. I, that reminds mm-hmm. me of Scorchbringer. Did you ever play that? That came I've... out. That came out recently. No, I never actually played it. It was a two D game. It was it was a game where I started and mm-hmm. I died immediately, and I was like, "Ooh, I'm not in this right now." <laughs> like mm-hmm. I didn't. It wasn't in the mood to get my ass kicked. You're in the return. Like, yeah, that was a dig, everyone. That was a dig at me. And you know what? <laughs> no, I'll take to it. Be f- to be fair, I'll take it. I suck at that game, so <laughs> I never, I never went back to it. Hey, you weren't the only one, man. There's people that died like tens of times. I, I heard someone's death count, and I was like. Jesus, Oof. someone died like 90, 100 times before they beat it, I think, or something. Mm. I've only made it through Act 1, though. We're getting sidetracked. Um, quick thing. Do I sound fine? Do I sound loud? Because my wavelength is like like this. So I apologize, oh. Achievers, if I sound like really loud. You sound fine to me. Now, okay. maybe the Achievers are like, ah! <laughs> but no. You we'll see what happen. happens after I do the whole yeah, we'll, export thing. Yeah, you do all that stuff, and then I gotta. I'll try to fix. I'll try to Veterans fix it. United, I think is what this says. Let's get that out. Interesting. Of here. Okay. Let's, all right. Cool. Now that was a couple games I wanted to bring to the table. Show the achievers. Mm-hmm. If you're interested, of course, you can go watch the whole thing. Either the whole Guerrilla Collective, which was good, I recommend it. Devolve Digital was crazy nonsense, like it always is, and I love Devolver Digital for that. They're the only ones that do that weird like crazy four, thing yeah they're like they're crazy that's very fourth wall breaking kind of show and i love it that mm. you should really watch that it's it was 
<laughs> it was like I, it's crazy how they keep making it crazier every year. It, yeah, it's it, it wasn't it last year they did they, they did something like where they were like I, I feel like it was very bloody. I don't yeah, remember what I happened, but they, it was like something I, going on with yeah, limbs or something. Yeah, I remember this. The, this yeah. joke is uh, this year's thing is um, they're making fun of uh, uh, subscription services and games as a service. Mm-hmm. It played really well. I liked. I like whoever's like, writing that is is hilarious. Yeah. Um, but I want to get into to Ubisoft, Alex. So Let's do it. Let's that was kind of the. I would say that's kind of the big event of this of, of today. Okay, there were yeah. things like wholesome games and things like that where there was, but it was a lot of indie stuff. But it's if you want to, stuff, you know, yeah. If you want to talk about a a big studio doing something, of course, Ubisoft Forward was kind of the only one today. Really quick, Alex, you've watched all of it. I have as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, I want your. Hmm, I want. I want to. I want to ask you. How do you want to do this? Do you want to ask? And we want to talk about the whole conference step by step, or would you rather talk about it as a whole thing in like more of a spoiler cast way? Let's like, go step by step. Step by step, okay. So in case for the people who didn't get to watch it, mm, so they, so and they, they want would. just like a breakdown. I respect yeah. that. I respect that. Now we, Alex, got, we got time time codes at the bottom. Time codes at the bottom, of course. Um, it starts with Rainbow mm-hmm. Six um, Extraction. Of course, used to be quarantine, but I think they were like. Maybe we don't use that word now. <laughs> Maybe we don't. Maybe, I bet poor timing. So they, they changed mm-hmm. that to uh, extraction. It looks boring. Uh, it, it's. Yeah. I'm gonna be the guy that says it. It okay, does. So it does look boring. Again with the other with the other game. If this was like some type of like show, interesting. I mean, but I don't want to play it myself. I don't know. That's a good point. I think that's a better way of saying what I just said. <laughs> watching it seems fun mm-hmm. but but I, but me picking up the controller is yeah, a different I don't, scenario I don't, yeah. I don't think i i don't think i want to pick the controller and play that game it's one of those things where i see it and i'm like ah, i'm good I yeah. like, and, and more power to you if you like it of course yeah no some people love Re- Re- rainbow six i do i do yeah Alex, you remember i got super into it yeah, for that month yeah, i mean i did play I was, with you but i never got back into it like i do want to try to go back into it because i would seen some stuff and i'm like that looks cool and i was it's, like i do want to try it again yeah. there's a lot of cool abilities now but do i it, for, do i, I, was, I, I was actually to play. i was actually explaining my my to my wife she had a general understanding of what rainbow six was and i reminded her it was like this was a a very serious military like shooter game <laughs> where like if you die in one headshot like you're dead now it's like to the other side of that and now there's zombies for some reason in it it just it's, it's just, not even it, it, they're not zombies they're aliens it said they were a, they were alien creatures they're not even zombies interesting i yeah. wonder if they had to have changed that because it, remember the trailer had someone infected Mm-hmm. But no, this was showing like it said there was aliens. Let me see. No, they definitely changed that because because at first it was zombies, if you remember. But that makes more sense because uh, they do kind of look like aliens, I guess. Swarming alien creatures. Yep. They definitely changed that. They were like, we can't talk about sickness mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. So let's said, uh, let's yep. make them aliens now. Yep. That doesn't really Clan- make sense. Yeah. Okay. There it says they include the oddly unclancy alien rampaging throughout the thing. I was yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I I think that was a clear changing, which for what yeah, happened, yeah, That's which why it makes it, sense, I guess. Yeah. Like, you know, it, I what other game had to do that? I'm blanking on it. <sighs> no, I think it was a show. I think it was a uh, yes, uh, Captain America and a uh, Winter Soldier. I think yes. that had a virus yes. plot. There was they, a virus took, plot. Yeah, they took it yep. all out. Yep. They had to take it all out because of this. So yep. that, I mean, it makes. I mean. I guess makes it sense. Makes I mean, sense. I understand. You don't want to like keep talking about it. I guess I, I don't. I, I, I wouldn't have cared, but I feel like someone probably would have, and it was probably too much of a headache to be like, we can't. If if it if it doesn't play right, we mm-hmm. don't want to deal with the aftermath of that. So I get it, but that was whatever. Um, Alex, after this, r- remind me if I'm uh, incorrect. It should be Riders mm-hmm. Republic, right? I'm pretty sure. I believe so. Pretty sure it was Riders Republic. Um, but anyways, we'll pretend it is. Yeah. Rise of the Public was after that. I am excited. I don't know about you. I actually kind of am excited for this game. I, I, my wife was watching it with me, and she was like, this gives me skate vibes. So that's funny. Like, 
Because when I saw the snowboarder grind, I was like, mm -hmm. are they trying to get like a skate feel to this? Because because it, it was even in that camera style mm -hmm. with how skate does mm -hmm. it, where it's like kind of yep. wobbly and and like from low, like a like below a sort of angle. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I, I do understand what she means by that. Now, I think I'm excited for it. <laughs> I'm I, I definitely I I'm definitely going to try it. I definitely don't know if I'm going to stick to it. Alex, so you coined the term drive by game. Yes, this think, is a drive-by game. I think it's a drive-by game. This is, this I think is it's definitely a drive-by drive game. I think we're going to play this for a week, maybe a weekend. It's going to be a mm -hmm. great week or weekend, but then yep. we're, we're out. <laughs> like, we're, we're, we're bouncing out of this. Like, well, it's, uh, it's over. We're done. Yep, it was, yep, it was, yep. it's, you can stay over there. Yeah, stay over there. If they're, I'll be honest, there isn't much to talk about this game because it's like, it, like they showed, bike? And it's crazy because you they showed, showed a lot, but I just, yeah. I mean, you have apparently there's like this weird jetpack airplane thing that you can ride. Remember, it's yeah. like a little jetpack airplane. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I, I was like, okay, cool. You could tell it's like kind of steep, but more. You know what I mean? Like they mm -hmm. saw steep, and they're like, all right, let's change that to like make it more like co-op-y, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now, after this, should have been. God, I didn't take notes for this, um, so I'm struggling. But I'm gonna grab the notes for you, Cheever. So I'm not struggling anymore. Which game are you thinking of? Um, it should be. Is is that is Assassin's Creed after this with uh, their DLC? Pretty so sure I, I'm trying to find like an actual list of stuff that they announced, but like for some reason people are like just like highlights, highlights. I'm like, no, I want, I yeah. want the list. I'm pretty sure I found uh, it should be. Anyways, we can get we can get pretty close to it. Uh, oh, Rocksmith, mm -hmm. Rocksmith was after that. Oh, Rocksmith Plus. Yes. Now, yes. Alex. Yes. You yes, are yes, the yes. Rocksmith man. Yes. Tell me about Rocksmith. So you played the first Rocksmith. I played the first two. There was two of them. Oh, so okay. there was Rocksmith. I, on the I believe you. I don't. There was I Rocksmith on the 360, and then there was Rocksmith 2014. Oh, you're right. It was on the 360, right. but that they made that one oh for the God. Xbox One. No, you're right. You're completely. And I have it for the they, Xbox One. You're completely right. Yeah, I, I yeah. was like, what? Um, apparently this was accidentally leaked as well, which is mm. Jesus Christ. It, it, Gibson accidentally leaked it. Oh, which is funny. Damn. That's kind yeah. of funny. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's. It definitely looks fun because for, no. oh, for everybody who knows what Rocksmith is, I mean, you connect your real guitar and it actually teaches you how to play. This now, one? answer my question, Alex. Okay. Is right. Rocksmith Plus an add-on to the 2011 game? Because no. that's what it sounds like it is. It, I think it's its own thing, dude. Because okay. it said that you could download a whole app and everything. And I think like they said it's a subscription service. So it's its own thing. Because you can say that it can... Uh, like. Uh, they said that you can download it on your PC. Um, you can download it on your tablet or phones. I remember that. Is this something that comes to consoles? This or is this just a PC I, thing I, now? No, no, I think this will come to consoles. Okay. Let me see. It's a mate. Let me make sure. Uh, it's a, yeah. Like you're right. It says right here. It is a subscription service. That is what is going on with. Okay. It? No. So it does. Yeah. It says right. You can connect your instrument to your PC console, mobile device and practice playing along mastering records, variety of songs. So it is going to be on console. So I assume you, I don't know if Rocksmith plus, I don't know if that's a, excuse me. I don't know if that's a game and then you pay for a subscription. I'm assuming it's just it's an a app. subscription. Yeah. I'm I, assuming I it's, assume just, it's an app. just an app, right? And then, cause they said that there's plenty of songs. And then it says with Rocksmith plus, when you get the subscription, you can actually create tracks from what they have and you can tweak it and things like that. And it says that you can do that included with the subscription. So I don't know if you need the subscription to play the included songs that it didn't specify. Yeah. So it does seem like the game is just, just the, the, that. Yeah. Okay. And Okay, cool. And they're having a closed beta soon on PC. If you yeah, guys it says right there. Yeah, it says, and you can Rocksmith. register for it if you guys want to. Mm -hmm. um, on like right now, it looks like so you can go yeah, over yeah, there, a, register. Yeah. Very, it's cool. I've always. I mean, I am signing up. Oh really? Yeah, I, I have a good. I mean, you see it right? I have a guitar yeah, right here. It does that is a guitar? It's not fake, ladies and gentlemen. It's my favorite. My favorite guitar. Yes, I think ten of them. So many. No, but uh, it. Uh, I, I always respect uh, Rocksmith. It's yes, super impressive. It, it I love that. I love that it's, it's just like so random. Like it's just mm -hmm. like yeah, we're making like Rocksmith, and you can actually learn how to play a guitar. Like it's so cool. Mm -hmm. No, it's definitely cool because, dude, I love Guitar Hero, and I'm play on expert. It's like it's I love it. I tried playing Rocksmith, 
it's hard dude oh yeah. oh yeah it's so hard they're like learn the guitar like they're they, they don't play around it's not like mm-hmm. you know this is some like bull like no it's you, you learn a guitar and if you don't mm-hmm. you can't play it <laughs> yep oh, i'm officially registered all right assassin's creed valhalla siege of paris is coming up oh, so I'm they did so have a, excited for they this. did have a slight like couple like hey here's some updates that are coming you one-handed mm-hmm. swords are coming which was a big um, that's cool i was making fun of them where like you know how probably simple that seems to people like mm-hmm. watching it with who does has a play they this had, game, like what daggers adding like, swords? Just make it longer yeah so literally they 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 like showed the guy like holding a sword and they're like yeah mm-hmm. but yeah one-handed swords are being added uh siege of paris is being um added this summer uh which yes Thank you. Yes. I already oh. have the season pass for the game, so I'm just waiting yep. for it to drop. Yep. Then they also announced that they're going to continue with other expansions, which is I don't know about you, Alex. I was not expecting. I wonder that. what it, I wonder what they're going to do. Now I wonder if they're going to create something original, something historical, or something maybe even from the shows because there is two Viking shows, Vikings. And Last Kingdom. I wonder if they're going to try to talk to them and be like, "Hey, can we tie in some, you know, uh, story, you know, little add-ons from there?" Because in the show they did the Paris thing because it's mm. a very big thing in, in the Viking world. Yeah. So I wonder if they do that. I mean, apparently there's going to be more Odin stuff. I wonder if we'll actually get to see Ragnarok, like actually be in the Ragnarok battle. I that's what I was feeling because they did show that mm-hmm. portal and it was all red. And if I you remember yeah. when they were showing Ragnarok in the in the scene, mm-hmm. that the entire place was all red. So mm-hmm. I mean, they really were just comparing like colors. So it could be literally anything. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ragnarok and that's how it ends. Yeah. Uh, with a one more one we'll or two more. Serpent. That'd be sick. Mm-hmm. That'd be sick. But mm-hmm. Caesar Paris, I'm I am. Oh, I'm, I'm going in, back dude. for. It. I'm, I'm in, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, then we got Just Dance 2022. Um, yes. This actually got my wife very excited. She's actually asking, like, I think I'm gonna buy this. I'm like, go for it. I don't care. But like, it, you it, walk in and she's just like, oh, she's gonna be getting it. You know, she's gonna ask me to do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Just Dance, by the way, kills you. It's really hard. Oh it's yeah, fun. for sure, dude. It's like Zumba. And then we brought up Far Cry 6. Far Cry 6 with the villains. This Dude. Was, I wasn't expecting this. So they showed a little bit of the Far Cry 6 in that trailer, mm-hmm. which which Ubisoft always does nail that kind of like mm-hmm. villain that encapsulates the room. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the acting with John Carter Expedito is really what, what oh, pushes that yeah. higher. Mm-hmm. But the way he just can't like immediately changes the environment of that room is so oh dude, cool. it's awesome and then he says diego and you're like oh that's diego yep my favorite part of it was uh if you didn't want them all to die you wouldn't have set foot on this uh, uh boat and i was like oh he's so cool he's so mm-hmm. cool can't wait i'm assuming that's the opening of the game i assume maybe not but mm. i think i think it is oh uh, maybe what, what did you think first off of the trailer and then we'll get into the villain stuff so after that i'm I'm interested to know what's happening because literally it was so random. It's like, oh, we're you know we're going on a boat, so I'm assuming they're trying to escape Yara. I'm, ass- I'm assuming that's like at the beginning, like, all right, w- let's try to leave. They're gonna try mm-hmm. and leave. He messes up, and she's like, all right, well, we can't and leave, th- so we're gonna kill him. And I literally think that Diego got them all in the crossfire, and like, if he wouldn't never gotten on that boat, I feel like none of these people would have been even been like important like to the game. But you know, of course they. Like story mm-hmm. perspective, I'd be like, "Oh, Diego is like gonna get on this boat." So now everybody that was, it, for example, uh, the chick—I forget her name—the main I chick. I forget. I had her. The per, the main Danny, Danny, Danny. Okay. Um. Now she's involved in this, mm-hmm. and then I'm assuming that something happens with her. She creates some type of thing with them. So it's interesting how they did that. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm waiting for this game. It's uh, October seventh. <clears throat> that feels right. Mm-hmm. I might be wrong, but it should be right. Far Cry 6 then had the season pass trailer and it said, mm-hmm. become the villain. Didn't really give us too much specifics on what that mm-hmm. means, but you get to play as Voss, you get to play as uh, Pagan, Pagan Man, Man and, um, and Joseph, Joseph Seed, Seed, which it's cool. That looks kind of cool. My favorite part of that was when you were Voss, the uh, protagonist from three is Alex mocking Mason. you like, um, like Voss yeah. did to him. 
Like, yeah, he so just cool. gra- yeah, Alex Mason just grabs his head and he's like, I, I was like, oh, God. At him. That's so cool. I was like, this is actually like kind of getting me hyped. Now, is this going to be cool? <laughs> Who knows? Because it does kind of no. look like it's just a challenge arena thing. Yeah, because I was supposed to say, they don't tell you what you can do with them. So that's why I was like, like it's not like you're, you're definitely you're, shooting and fighting yeah. things, but well, I mean, I'm saying it's not like you're it's not like you're playing as them in the story because you know right. normally before in Far Cry you you know you don't know who the hell you are so you could just literally be anybody, mm-hmm. but with this one we actually have a character so you're not them, so it's interesting what like that you said maybe there's like some type of challenge mode and you can change who you are. Yeah, I'm assuming you pick who you play as, and there's probably like a specific. Remember when Far like, Cry Three had an online. I think it was three or four. One of no. them had an online. What? Yeah, there was I like some type of co- there was like co- was some co op thing. You guys had to like stay alive or some shit. I mean, it's I remember some I remember playing online or something. With it Far Cry. Sounds faintly familiar. Yeah, I feel like we did this once and we were like never again. But mm-hmm. but yeah, I I think we'll play as the villains. I think it will be, I think it will probably be kind of lame. But hey, I I just want to play as and and get the storylines because the storylines Far Cry three. Yep. Now. Now the, the the big thing, it looks like they're doing it again. Yeah, yeah. So Mario and Rabbits Sparks. No, 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 oh. no, not that. Far Cry Three Blood Dragon is also added to the game to the pass. Oh yeah, I yeah. You know, they, do you not care for that? I do. I, I, know, love I know it happened again. I love. But I'm wondering if this is a remaster for it or is it just another port? They didn't hype it up at all, so I'm assuming they're just re-releasing the mm, game. They're just add, re, re-adding it. Because they literally just went, it's Blood Dragon. like, And that was it. And so I was like, okay. So I feel like, I guess people really love Blood Dragon. I, I mean, I do. I love Blood I know, Dragon. I do but too, but like, it, like to add it again. Because that was the second time. Well, what in, Far Cry, in Far Cry 5, they give you, they as a pre-order bonus, if you get the DLCs, you get Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon as part of the thing. Really? Yeah. In Far Cry Five, yeah, for Far Cry Five, there was a that was an Xbox One game. It was either Far Cry Five or Far Cry the New Dawn one. I can't remember which one it was, but there was an. If you buy the season pass, mm-hmm. you get there was like three different DLCs. Was and there and then at the very end, it's like you can also get Far Cry Three Blood Dragon because wasn't which one was the one that has like these? It's like three different DLCs, and it, one of them like looked very like neonish or whatever. And I think the other one actually had some undead zombie looking things. That was that was five. That was five. Okay. Yeah. So it was that one. So because it, it showed three DLCs, I remember seeing it. And then it plus, and it says Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Really? Yeah. I don't remember this, but I'm just going to believe you and hope you're right. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm making this too accurate to <laughs> No, take... that's what I'm saying. Like, you have this down to a T as if it's burned in your memory by somebody. So I'm like, I mm-hmm. mean, I'm going to believe you because I don't remember it not being incorrect. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Next. As a sequel, it's Mario and Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. First off, that trailer starts with like a Luma and a rabbit, I guess, banging and making a baby. So um, we're gonna just not pay attention to that because that's just disturbing. But uh, they're making another one. Mm-hmm. I so again, Ubisoft can't have a game and have it not leaked. But so it was leaked this morning, so I already knew about it. So it did kind of take the little bit of the winds out of the sail. Yeah, I never played the first one. I heard yeah, it was I. good. Uh, but this doesn't do anything for me, if I'm being honest. I wouldn't mind nah, trying it. No, it does nothing for me either. Honestly, what gets me more excited, Alex, is if you really read between the lines. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean by this? Sure. So, <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad you know. I'll explain yeah. for the viewers, just in case they don't. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, if you read between the lines, if you remember oh so long ago, do you remember a, a, a little game called Watch Dogs? Just Watch Dogs. Mm-hmm. Remember that game? Mm-hmm. So Watch Dogs came out, um, debuted in 2012. And everyone asked, what's it going to be on? And they couldn't answer. Remember that? Because mm. they couldn't say because Xbox One and PS4 hadn't been announced yet. At the end of this trailer, yeah. we do not get what it's going to be launching on, really. It just kind of ends. It says 2022 without a date. I think the reason is, first off, the game looks too good to be a Switch game. So I think it's clearly going to be for the new Switch. It is probably, like, as day is uh, clear, it's going to be for the new Switch. Mm. Uh, 
Hmm. Do you think they're going to show that? Oh my god, your audio is terrible right now. <laughs> Why don't you figure your here audio go, here out? We go. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Here we go. Okay. Is that better? It's a, Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I was trying to turn my my distortion Gee. all the way off, uh-huh. and I went all the way up. <laughs> so I apologize. You did not sound nice. <laughs> I apologize for anybody who had to listen to that. That was... That was <laughs> Do that I sound was... any better? No, you sounded fine at the beginning. Now you kind of sound weird, but uh, weird. We'll, we'll write it out and we'll figure it out later. Okay. Uh, what I was meaning though is Switch Pro. I think is very much going to be a part of this game. If it's exclusive to the Switch Pro, is a whole different question. I have no idea. But well, I'm saying, are you, do you think we're going to see that system? In what? In soon? Is that, like, is that like on, at Nintendo's thing, direct thing? Nintendo we already today's. tweeted that it's only software, so I assume no. Mm-hmm. Do you think they could lie and just bring they it? Definitely they, 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 they definitely could. They definitely could just lie. Like look, any they, company look, could they just can lie. Literally, they could literally, he can come out and be like, oh, wait, 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 wait. We have one more thing. We've got one more thing. Yeah. You see, you already know what they're going to do. They're going to snap their fingers and the system's going to come out with an OLED screen. I, I could see it happening. I mean, again, companies lie to you all the time. So I'm not going to mm-hmm. say over here like, well, they said I wasn't going to be there. But yeah. I don't think it will be. I think they will have a whole... I wouldn't be surprised if they tease it, but I think they have a whole direct for that thing. Whenever it is, yeah. I think it will be, be a whole direct just for the system, but it makes so much sense to do it now. But yeah. why would they tweet that? And Nintendo doesn't usually, if in recent memory, really lie. They want your expectations at a specific thing. So, mm-hmm. so you don't get excited. And they didn't lie last time because last time they did a direct, they made sure it was like, yeah, this is just for games. So I don't know. I don't know. I think it could go either way, but I'm going to stick with it's not at E3. Even though it makes so much sense it would, I do not think mm-hmm. they will because Nintendo is a weird company. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think I'm incorrect, correct? I, f- I feel like... Yeah, I'm like... Hmm. It makes so much sense to reveal it is my issue. No, for sure. So I, I almost want to say I'm wrong, but I well, because really don't think when they would when they when would they if they don't? I mean like really whenever they want. It. Nintendo does literally whatever they want. You know how many switches they've sold? I don't think they care. I mean, yeah, I guess so. They don't really need E3. They just I feel like they're just here to be nice and be honest with you. Yeah, they saw PlayStation is never coming back, so they're like, yeah, oh, yeah, I they're guess. But what, but what do you think? I cut you off there. What do you think? I th- I think we'll see it, but like, what do I think they'll do like the bare minimum? So they'll probably do the silhouette thing, mm-hmm. and they'll probably pull the silhouette thing and maybe show the system, and that's it. No 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 name, no nothing. Like just just the system itself, and that's it. And it says uh, more info coming soon or something. I could see that. I could yeah. see a slight tease at the end. Mm-hmm. So so many possibilities, but take it to the bank. This game is coming on Switch Pro. The reason it looks so good isn't because it's running on an original Switch. Mm-mm. Remember Watch Dogs. Mm. And also remember Watch Dogs. Not, I'm not saying this game's going to do that. Remember Watch Dogs looks so good and they had to like really dumb it down. Oh my God. If you ever watched the original, ugh, go watch the original Watch Dogs trailer and then go watch what it launched. My God. And then we ended on Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I'm actually interested about this one. Me too. This is actually one of the games where I'm like, yeah, same. same. I want it. I want it. Yeah. We didn't really get, honestly, anything about the game. It really just kind of flew around. It's literally we the, fought it a helicopter. Like it's, it literally looks like the, the main base story for the first movie. It's like you're just fighting the military people. Yeah. Like, I was actually curious, like, What's, My th- what's I wonder what the game is like, no. like what's what's going to be the story what what time period are we in I'm assuming it's after the first movie now my thing is does this game give you hmm, like uh MMO feel like to where like you create your own avatar I don't I forget the the Nami I think that's what they're called I Navi, don't remember what they're called I think Navi, Navi yeah. but um for some reason I have I feel like it, it keeps giving me the MMO feel MMO Yes, like a full-on MMO, like like like, like Star like, Wars, Old Republic, like that. 
Not I do not that, see that. Not that big. Like like like, like Destiny, kind of like light. It's like a like a light one, like, like, like a light Destiny or division. Like you know, it's a light yeah, game as a I, service, whatever you want to call it. Us, yeah, that I feel like it could be that. Like you know, you have the whole Pandora, and you can create your own Navi. There's uh, you're, the people that you're fighting is the military. So because when they showed the two people going against, like fighting the yeah. military people, I'm like, it does kind of that seem could co-op-y. be your co op y yeah. friend. It does so. seem very co op y because he does literally help you kill a hell. So yes. I was like, okay, are you hinting? First off, it's first person because they have that weird first person kind of mm-hmm. thing happen. I think you could change. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I think they were just trying guess, to show, like, hey, it's first person. Then maybe you'll change unless, it. Unless, like, Destiny, like, you know, when you're writing a mount, it's third person. And then it's first person when you're walking around. Yeah. I, I yeah. Hmm. I don't know. We don't know yeah. much, so it's just us guessing. Mm-hmm. The question is, I, 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 I when the, the title came up and it was, like, 2022, I looked at my wife and I was like, I'll believe that when it's in my fucking console. Because I, 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 don't, I don't believe that. 2022, for no. Second. This is the first time we're seeing this. We'll probably believe- get it 2023. I, I don't think so. But, hey, we might. Ubisoft, I don't know. They haven't really surprised me, but they sometimes surprise me, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Alex, that's pretty much the conference. I think we pretty much nailed everything there. Uh, I don't think we really missed anything of too important. So, that's... Kind of day one of E3, kind of the bag. Ubisoft Forward was kind of the main thing. Again, I didn't really find anything interested in the wholesome thing. It wasn't really for me or Alex, I don't think so. Mm. If you want to go watch that, of course, E3's YouTube channel has a bunch of videos like that. And of course, stick with us throughout the whole day. Keep asking us questions about E3, what you think is going to happen. Alex, as a day, you are very busy today with some Mm -hmm. personal matters, but as a day of E3, what do you think? It's fine. I agree. Yeah, I mean, usually the first day has never it, really been crazy. Well, it's always, it's, it's like, it's normally like a little, like a taste. You're like, eh, I'm a little dipping my little toe in that cold water. You know, you know what I'm saying? I will say, I agree with you. If I had just watched Ubisoft Forward and um, some of Gorilla Corrective, I watched Code the same thing. and Gearbox. Those I were, forgot about Gearbox. Those were terrible mm-hmm. those were terrible coke yeah. media shouldn't have existed in the first place <laughs> second off gearbox was like 30 minutes and like 10 minutes of it was randy pitchford just walking around a movie set talking to people it was not great um i like think the borderlands movie set yeah sorry oh, i, I should pre- i should preface that uh yeah he's just walking around he, he got kevin hart which kevin hart was like what do you want? <laughs> like, it very much it seemed like Kevin Hart was like, I'm busy, dude. Like, I, I, and he, like he really got him from the trailer. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was awesome. Yeah. I love Kevin Hart. But um, but as a day for me, uh, this was very much a okay. Like, this, mm-hmm. this was like, like, don't watch the thing. Don't watch. Uh, you know what we're waiting for. Oh, yes, we are. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking of what we're waiting for ne- tomorrow. I almost said the next day. That doesn't really make sense to say. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 p. 10 a.m. Pacific. 10 a.m. Pacific. And a bunch of other different times for other different regions. Other, but we know, you know who we're <laughs> but, talking about. But the main the Xbox main one, and Bethesda. Which is 90 minutes. 90 minutes of Battlefield on Game Pass. Which, by the way, I don't want to brag. I was right that they're going to get the gameplay reveal. I was right mm-hmm. about that, you know. Tap myself hey, on the yeah. You you said that. I'm sure there's Halo gameplay. Uh yeah, uh, yeah we're, I think we'll see Halo multiplayer. There was a leak. I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to. I don't know what the achievers are with spoilers. So I'll very. Mm, there was a Halo multiplayer thing that leaked. If you guys want to go find it, you know where to look. I don't want to spoil. Mm-hmm. Some people I know don't want to be spoiled. So. Yeah, and and honestly, like the Halo thing wasn't even exciting, so it's like okay, but we are we knew all that, so I'm, yeah, we knew all that. It wasn't, right. it wasn't even that big deal. But I am very excited for. I'm excited for Persona Five on Xbox Game Pass. Very excited for that. They're definitely going to show. Gonna pretend Starfield. like I know all this. Oh yeah, Starfield is for sure. Yeah. I feel in Starfield is for sh- isn't this? Are we saying that's completely exclusive to game to Game Pass? Or Xbox, I forgot which one we were talking to about. Xbox. To it Xbox, is, that's it what it was. It's an yeah, yeah. Xbox game. Of course, it yeah. will be on Game Pass as a game. Yeah. But yeah, I, I won't be surprised if we... Um, Do you think we'll te- they'll get another tease for Elder Scrolls or not? No, it's... I don't, they showed us the title. Do you think we'll see anything else? First off, they, we shouldn't have even seen that. 
Yeah. Because they were in they were probably in pre pro when see, they were doing that. that. Like what's but the see, point of that? What is the yeah, point but, of showing yeah, that? Yeah, but game? see now they fucked up because now there be there they, they have to show something because then, then why show that? That was two years ago, three years ago now or something like that. Two. It, like we gotta move on from this. That you and they I both up. know they fucked up, they have to now. It's their fault. First off, they're not gonna yeah. show anything. Achievers, no, no. listen to me. Alex is strunk on <laughs> on Kool-Aid right now. This is not we're not seeing Elder Scrolls. If we see Elder Scrolls, you're gonna wish you hadn't because it's not going to be anything. You know, well, it's like what was it? Oh my god, uh I forgot what game it was. It's like they showed it and they're like you won't get it for another five years. <laughs> I forget what game was. Really quickly, like too. Ubisoft 4 didn't have Beyond Good and Evil 2, which you were right about, by the way. Wasn't that your prediction? <laughs> that, that they wouldn't even mention the game? Yep. <laughs> I laughed so hard you know when I realized you know what, that. what is that game? Yeah, yeah. How much, guess how much you want to bet that game most likely will be delayed again, and we won't get it till 2023. At this point... It's just cancel it. I, I don't want to be I, about it. Just I, honestly, I want them to happen. just because they're taking too much time with it. It's not. It's just not going to happen. If it's not happening now, it's not going to happen. Like uh, most likely, as sad as it is, they might cancel Skull and Bones because they got delayed. So it got, it, if they've restarted development on the game like twice. I don't know. I don't even know what Skull and Bones is anymore. It's going to be a completely different game when we see it. Oh, for sure. They, they honestly, they're probably just going to make it an open world pirate game. That's probably what they're going to do. I think they were like. When people wanted Black Flag, they were like, "Oh, is this game Black Flag?" No, it, you're like it's multiplayer Why? but with ships, and they're like, <laughs> "What? We don't want what? We don't who like, wanted? Like, we don't want that. Like, we they're don't like, want, we don't want a pirate version of Ace Combat. No thanks." It's just so strange that they're like, "No, but it's like multiplayer, and you're a ship, and it's like." You mean you mean no. I control the ship, or I'm de- de- figuratively I'm the ship? <laughs> like I'm like Thomas the Train. The ship has my face. <laughs> No, you, no, you're the ship. We, like, no, you know how they're gonna advertise wanna be, it. No one now, that. using the connect, you can take your face and put <laughs> it on the ship. Thomas the ship. Thomas the pirate ship. Now you see my face on on the ship. God, using man, connect. Uh, 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 bring the connect back, achievers. I want you to look at this face. Imagine that ship coming at you with that face, go, just like that. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> coming at you oh I'm my god coming for you <laughs> that'd be I i'm would, coming for the balloons i'd buy i'd buy that game i'd buy that game oh yeah would you what were you talking uh, xbox with Look, that i got so close to my camera that now i won't focus again <laughs> where screwed, are you i screwed it up <laughs> it's fine you'll be okay don't worry about yeah, it yeah. but yeah. we're very excited for tomorrow um really quickly slight spoiler it's just a little slight spoiler this leaker was right about a lot of things if he was right, that means we might get Outer Worlds two tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We might get Outer Worlds two tomorrow. I guess. I guess. I didn't. I guess that too. Didn't I guess that too? I'm just. You saying. did, and I said you were wrong. So <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope because I want to be right. It sucks mm-hmm. it's because I want the game. So like to me to be right, it has to not be <laughs> it's there. Like, it's like <laughs> it's like. Do I get? Am I wrong? And I lose a steak dinner, or do I get the game? <laughs> exactly. It's like I, I, I don't know which one I want, but. Like, but I want the game. Uh, but achievers, let us know what you thought about the Ubisoft conference. What, what you thought about Coke Media. What you thought about E3 Day One. Let us know in the comments below. Tweet at us your question, comments, concerns about the show. Remember, if you're on Patreon, there's a bunch of different tiers that you can access to not only get the show early, but to be included in the show with a, a DM straight to us. You get a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea onto the show for only pennies a day. Only pennies a day. That's a dollar every single month. Thank you so much for listening this much into the show. We appreciate you. It's E3 weekend, man. We're hyped. We're hyped, and we're going to see you tomorrow, bright yep. and early for some. Live, Stop. 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Yep, you're damn right, Alex. Go, Chief. Go, Chief.